Hey guys, and welcome back to the official Lost video podcast hosted by ABC.com. Well, for those of you who saw our episode a few weeks ago, The Shape of Things to Come, you saw Ben confront Widmore in his London apartment. Well, surprise, that was actually London. Now, I know what you're thinking. The show normally doesn't leave Hawaii. We do all of the special effects, all of the special locations in Hawaii in their own backyard. But in this case, actor Alan Dale got a role in Spamalot in London. So the show went to him. And we have some behind the scenes rare footage of Michael Emerson and Alan Dale doing that scene. Now, for those of you who want the audio podcast, bad news, there isn't any this week. But have no fear. Executive producers Damon Lindelof and Carlton Hughes will be back next week to rehash our upcoming episode entitled Cabin Fever. That episode, of course, airs Thursday, May 8th at our new time, 10 p.m. Eastern, and is available the next day at abc.com. Cabin Fever. I wonder what that could be about. Possibly, I don't know, Jacob? You'll have to tune in to find out, though. Here now, instead, is Alan Dale and Michael Emerson. They needed me to be in some scenes, and um, I'm working doing spam a lot at the moment on the West End, and so I couldn't get to Hawaii, and so the mountain came to Muhammad. The scene we're shooting today is a crackling good scene between Charles Widmore and Ben. It will be their first sort of face-off. It will be very informative about their relationship. Wake up, Charles. Um, and when you first came on the show, did you know that your character would be so important to role in the series? No, I had no idea, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I, and I think since then I've, I've done a couple of other series as well at the same time. But this has just rolled on quietly in the background. And, um, and now as, as it's turning out, he's more important than I ever thought he would be. So, once again I ask you, why are you here? I'm here, Charles, to tell you that I'm going to kill your daughter. Penelope, is it? And once she's gone, once she's dead, then you'll understand how I feel. And you'll wish you hadn't changed the rules. When Ben says to Charles Widmore, that he'll wish he hadn't changed the rules. It suggests to me that there's something that's not real life about what's going on here. There's, a, there's one extra layer of abstraction or game or contest. I'm not sure what it is though. I mean, to me, it's, a, it's one of the compelling mysteries of the story at the point we're at right now. We fly blind a little bit in this show because everything's so secret. Because people want to know all the secrets. They're always asking me all the time, you know, what's happening next. And I have no idea, which is just as well because I'd probably tell them. It's wonderful to come to London to work. Uh, it's all been a bit of a blur, I, I have to say. It's like commuting 36 hours to do a day's work. So. <laughs> We all feel a bit tipsy with jet lag. 